Welcome back to Stargame Studio. Today's video will start a new sub-series about the Gameplay Ability System. Unreal Engine's Gameplay Ability System, or GAS as it's known, requires using C++. I don't want to use anything except blueprints for this game. So, forget C++ in this series. We will build the Gameplay Ability System with blueprints. Get ready for the journey. It's going to be a good one. This system will rely heavily on inheritance. I will explain if you don't know what inheritance is or how it works. Imagine you have a toy box filled with different kinds of toys, cars, dolls, and blocks. Now, each toy has some things in common, like they are all made of plastic and fun to play with. However, each toy has unique things that make it different. Cars have wheels, dolls have clothes, and blocks can be stacked. In Unreal Engine 5, inheritance is like uniquely organizing your toys. You start with a basic toy. Let's call it the toy class. This toy class shares common characteristics like being made of plastic and fun to play with. Then you can create unique kinds of toys that inherit from the toy class. When a toy inherits, it means it gets all the common things from the toy class, but you can also add special things to it. For example, the car class inherits from toy. You can add wheels so it can roll. The doll class inherits from toy. You can add clothes so it can be dressed up. The block class inherits from toy. You can stack them. So if you make a change to the toy class, like saying all toys are colorful, then all the special toys, like cars, dolls, and blocks, will also be colorful because they inherit from the toy class. In Unreal Engine 5, inheritance helps you efficiently create and manage your game objects. You can create a base object with common properties and then make different kinds of objects that inherit those properties while adding their own unique features this way you don't have to repeat the same information over and over again for each object. We will begin with the player base class. All other blueprints related to this base class will inherit from it. Let's create a folder to hold the player class system. We can start the system with a blueprint of type actor. Name this blueprint Player Base Class. To understand what a player class is, you had player classes if you played World of Warcraft or Star Wars Galaxies. In Star Wars Galaxies, one of the starter classes was the Brawler Class or the Marksman Class. The player base class is the parent of all player classes and will house the ability system for those classes. The first player class we will create is the brawler class I mentioned. This is the easiest class to start with. This class can develop into advanced classes such as Terras Kasi or Swordsman. Create another blueprint in the player class system folder. To do this, we need to open the all classes tab and find the player base class we created. Name this blueprint Player Class Brawler. This class will now inherit everything we create in the player base class. Let's start off by creating the first ability inside of our player character blueprint. We already have the punch ability, and we don't want to mess it up yet. So let's add another keyboard event. I'll use keyboard event two. After we get this set up, we will remove our temporary attack punch and make this one permanent. This ability will be added to a player hotbar in a future video. We need to define a variable in the player character blueprint. This variable will be our activated player ability. 
This is a generic ability that we will define in the player base class. So this ability will be of type player base class, which is an object reference. Since this is communicated to the player base class, we can define generic variables here. Let's make a variable in the player base class of type float and name it speed. Because the variables in this class are inherited, we need to make them instance editable and expose on spawn. Rather than adding a bunch of variables for the types of abilities, we can create an enumerator. An enumerator is a user-defined data type that consists of a set of named values. The word set is the operative word. To create an enumerator, go to the advanced blueprints and click on enumerations. Name this player ability types. We will use a switch statement later to switch these enumerators. Inside of the enumeration blueprint, give the enum a description. Now, add an enumerator. We will call this hit one. Hit one is our first generic ability. It will correspond with the punch ability we created for the player character. We can add as many enumerators as we like but we only need one for now. Since the generic abilities are added with an enumerator, we will also use the enumeration blueprint for the brawler set as well. Name this player ability types brawler. Go ahead and give it a description. Now, add an enumerator. Name this melee hit. This is the actual name for the ability type that the player character uses to throw the first punch. Okay, in the player base class, create a new variable named ability type. This will be of the enumerator type player ability types. Be sure to make it instance editable and expose on spawn. We created this variable because there will be many different instances using the generic abilities. Now, in the brawler class, make a variable called brawler ability type using the enumerator type player ability types brawler. This sets up our basic player class system. I realize this can get confusing. Don't worry about it. It will click for you after you get used to implementing it. If you don't think you can understand it, hit me up on the Discord channel. I will be glad to explain further. There is an invite in the description. We will implement this system in the next video. For now, may the force be with you. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play